What's up guys, Chad back here with you on the RC Models and More channel and a real quick update for all of you lychee owners. Before you install the new update, please keep in mind if you live close to a hospital helipad or small recreational airport where you may have permission to fly, even though the geo system is locking you out, you might not want to download this update because it's being a little tricky. I've noticed on this and autopilot that the geo system that is built into the DJI SDK is not transferring over our tokens that we put in. Now, if you don't know what that is, that is when you accept full responsibility for flying in a no-fly area to DJI by submitting either a credit card or them verifying who you are by sending you a passcode through text message to get permission to unlock that area. Now, once you unlock it, you're pretty much good to go until the new update. Um, but in this case, it doesn't seem uh, to have worked. Now, I have managed to get Leechy to allow me to fly by going into the DJI Go app and registering again for my token, closing that app, and then opening Leechy up again, turning on the Geo system up here, which you can see will say cannot take off in a no-fly zone, but now it will let me turn it off and this message should go away. There we go, because I do have permission to fly. So anyway, what else did they do in this update? They allowed us to basically go ahead and have control of autofocus ourself with the center point by assigning it to a button. Um, you can see that I'm pressing the C2 button and it is center point focusing. I can also change to um, different things here in the settings. If I go over to the settings here, you can see that they added things like landing protection, precision landing, the vision system, and front LEDs. So now you can turn all of them on and off so you don't get those in your night shots. And we can turn off the VSP so when we're flying in strange lighting conditions, we don't get abrupt stops or collision warnings or anything like that. So anyway, just a real quick video to get around it. Uh, you know, like I said, you got to go back and forth between the apps and kind of fuss with it. Um, I'm always one to download updates quick. I know that sometimes does not work out uh, to the benefit of us, the pilots. Uh, but, um, you know, I like to have my features as fast as I can. You know, you pay for these apps and you expect things to be, be uh, beta tested and figured out. Uh, but as with my contact that I had with Leechy uh, recently, uh, where I was explaining to them the focus issues from the video that I just posted yesterday, um, they said they were working on the software development right now uh, from the Go4 app to carry over the autofocusing and the color profiles. Um, so basically, Leechy is still running off of the DJI Go app color profiles. I tell you, this is just so confusing, all this stuff. I'm glad I know, kind of know what I'm doing here since I've owned the a few of these DJI vehicles, but for the new person who starts diving into this stuff, man, it could just get crazy. But uh, we'll just uh, pop up in the air here, do a quick flight and uh, see how things go. Today, we're gonna hit the recording record started. button and it just focused itself. I'm gonna hit the button again, see if there's any difference, nothing.
If I go back to my Jeep, hit the button there, focusing no problem. So let's take a quick hop back out to the normal flying field where I go and take a look at the trees here today. So the colors definitely still look off, but it looks like I'm able to focus a lot better. So I guess we'll see how that looks in the video and I'll be overlaying that side by side. Try to get a nice smooth pan here. Let's line up our horizon a little bit. And the focus doesn't seem too bad. It's kind of back to the way that it was in the original DJI app before they changed it. So basically we have the ability now to just go ahead and focus uh, whenever we want to. Which I think is in some ways actually better if you ask me. Get in a little bit closer here. Focus. All right, not too bad. So I guess we'll see how that all looks on the video. It's a warm day today. It's up to about 37, which is pretty nice. That doesn't happen very often this time of year. I know we're only in Ohio, but it's just kind of how it goes. So anyway, I'll uh, go ahead and overlay the footage here and see how things go. And uh, hopefully we get some better results from yesterday, at least with the focus part. So signing out. Talk to you guys later.